Easy Talks Meetings is a great platform to do one-on-one -on -one meetings or group meetings for different situations, such as business audio and video conferencing, team collaboration, remote support, online training, e-learning, and telemedicine. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Talks Meetings platform. Here we go. Here's how to host an instant meeting. To host a meeting, you'll be required to sign up an Easy Talks account first. Go to the Easy Talks website at www.easytalks.com to sign up or sign in to your Easy Talks account. And please note, your participants do not need to sign up or sign in at all. After you sign in, you'll see this dashboard. Find the Meetings section and you can directly click on Host to host an instant meeting. This will redirect you to download the Easy Talks app. Open the downloader on the left side corner and then it will start to install the Easy Talks app. It will take some time to finish the installation. You can open it from the taskbar. Alternatively, you can go to download and install the app first. Go to the Easy Talks website and find the download center at the very bottom of the page. Then download and install the Easy Talks app based on the device you're using. Once you've installed the Easy Talks app, sign in and go to this meeting section. Click on the plus button and then start a video meeting here. If you just want to have an audio meeting, you can click on start an audio meeting instead. Here's how to schedule a meeting from the Easy Talks website. You can schedule a meeting and invite participants before starting a meeting. Go to the Easy Talks website at www.easytalks.com to sign up or sign in to your Easy Talks account. Find the Meetings section in the dashboard, click on Schedule, and it will open the Schedule page. Input the topic of your meeting and set the start time, duration, and time zone. You can also make a short description of the meeting here. Then click on Schedule and you'll see the upcoming meeting list which shows all the meetings you've scheduled. There are four options here. Start to start the meeting immediately. Edit to edit the meeting. Invite to invite your participants. And delete to permanently delete the meeting. Here's how to schedule a meeting via the Easy Talks app. Go to the Easy Talks website and find the download center at the very bottom of the page. Then download and install the Easy Talks app based on the device you're using. Once you've installed the Easy Talks app, sign in and go to this meeting section, click on the plus button, and then schedule a meeting here. Input the topic of your meeting and set the start time, duration, and time zone. You can also make a short description of the meeting here. If this is a regular meeting, you can turn on the Recurring button. Set the recurring frequency on daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Here, I make it happen every Monday. Now, press OK, and then click on Schedule. Now, you can see a few options here. Start, to start the meeting immediately. Edit, to edit the meeting. Invite, to invite your participants. Default calendar, to sync the meeting to your default calendar. Outlook, to sync the meeting to your Outlook web calendar. And Google Calendar, to sync the meeting to your Google web calendar. Here's how to invite participants from the Easy Talks website. When you go to the Easy Talks website and sign in, you'll see this dashboard. Find the Meetings section and click on My Meetings. You can also find the Meetings button from the left-hand side menu. On the upcoming list, you can see all the meetings you've scheduled. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by Contacts. If you've imported your contacts to the EasyTalks system, then you can invite them through the contact list. Invite by Emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox or manually entering their email addresses into the text box here. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. 
Here's how to invite participants via the Easy Talks app. Launch the Easy Talks app, sign in, and go to this meeting icon. There, you'll see all the scheduled meetings. Right click on it, and you can see the Invite button to invite participants. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox or manually entering their email addresses into the text box here. Invite by contacts. If you've imported your contacts to the EasyTalks system, then you can invite them through the contact list. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. Here's how to start a scheduled meeting. After you sign in, you'll see this dashboard. Find the Meetings section and click on My Meetings. You can also find the Meetings button from the left-hand side menu. On the upcoming list, you can see all the meetings you've scheduled. Select the scheduled meeting you want to start and click on the Start button to start the meeting. This will open the Easy Talks launcher to redirect you to the Easy Talks app. If you haven't installed the Easy Talks app, it'll automatically download the app initially. You can also go to the Easy Talks website and find the Download Center at the very bottom of the page. Then download and install the Easy Talks app based on the device you're using. Once you've installed the Easy Talks app, sign in and go to this meeting section and you'll see all the scheduled meetings here. Double click or right click on the scheduled meeting and then start it. Here's what you can do during a meeting. After you start the meeting, you can click on Join with Computer Audio or go to Test Audio first. You can test your microphone and the speaker. You can also select the video settings on the left side and test if the video is working well. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox or manually entering their email addresses into the text box here. Invite by contacts. If you've imported your contacts to the EasyTalks system, then you can invite them through the contact list. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. Right click on a participant's name and you'll have these options. Mute to mute this participant. Remove to remove this participant from the meeting. Mute all to mute all participants. Unmute all to unmute all participants. And lock meeting to lock the meeting room so that others can't jump into your meeting without your permission. Right next to it is an option to Share Desktop. This allows you to share your screen. If you want to share a presentation, you can click on Share Desktop, find the slide, and open it. For sharing videos, you can do the same. Share Desktop, find the video, and play it. The participants can watch the video and hear the audio as well. When you're sharing a desktop, the toolbar will show at the top in the center. Click on the pin icon and the toolbar will be pinned at the top. Otherwise, it will be hidden unless you move your mouse over it. You can click on the red square button to stop sharing. The next option is Share Whiteboard. You can present your idea effectively by illustration and texts. When sharing whiteboard, you can click on Annotation to allow you and your audience to collaborate with each other. Next is the chatting option. You can decide to chat with everyone or an individual person. Next is the recording button. Click on the recording button and you'll see this recording icon showing its recording. You can pause the recording or stop it here. Next is the polling button. 
click on the button and you can launch a poll or a survey. There are two types of polls you can set. The first is a single choice that allows participants to select only one answer. The other is multiple choices, which allows participants to select multiple answers. After the participants finish the voting, you can check the results here. Next is the Move to Room button, which is for the EasyTalks Rooms solution. If you've purchased an EasyTalks video conferencing device, here you can control the device to start a meeting. Next is the More button, where you can check the meeting details, change some settings, ask for live support, or go to the EasyTalks Help Center. And lastly, you can click on this button to end the meeting. There are different ways to join an EasyTalks meeting. First, you can join a meeting via the EasyTalks app, which is completely free and doesn't require you to sign up or sign in. Secondly, you can also join a meeting by telephone call-in. You just need to call a phone number provided by EasyTalks and enter the meeting ID to join a meeting. However, in this way, you can only have audio conferencing, which means you can only talk with others but can't see videos or share the screen. Here's how to join a meeting via the EasyTalks app. The host may send you an invitation email that contains the meeting ID, join meeting button, and other meeting information. Click on this button and it'll show you the join a meeting page. Click on the interactive meeting button and it will direct you to download the EasyTalks app. Open the downloader on the left side corner to install the EasyTalks app. It may take some time to finish the installation. Then the join a meeting window will pop up and you can input the meeting ID to enter the meeting room. You can also go to the EasyTalks website and find the download center at the very bottom of the page. Then download and install the EasyTalks app based on the device you're using. Once you've installed the EasyTalks app, open it and you can see the Join a Meeting option. Input the meeting ID and your name. You can also select to turn on the video when joining. Then click on Join. Congratulations! You've successfully joined the meeting. Here's what you can do after joining a meeting. After you join the meeting, you can click on Join with Computer Audio or go to Test Audio first. You can test your microphone and the speaker. You can also select the video settings to test if the video is working well. After you join the meeting, you can also invite other participants to join if the host hasn't locked the meeting. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. This number shows how many participants joining a meeting. Right next to it is an option to share desktop. This allows you to share your screen. If you want to share a presentation, you can click on Share Desktop, find the slide, and open it. For sharing videos, you can do the same. Share Desktop, find the video, and play it. The participants can watch the video and hear the audio as well. When you're sharing a desktop, the toolbar will show at the top in the center. Click on the pin icon and the toolbar will be pinned at the top. Otherwise, it will be hidden unless you move your mouse over it. You can click on the red square button to stop sharing. The next option is Share Whiteboard. You can present your idea effectively by illustration and texts. When sharing Whiteboard, you can click on Annotation to allow you and your audience to collaborate with each other. Next is the Chatting option. You can decide to chat with everyone or an individual person. Next is the polling button. 
If the host launches a poll, you can click here to vote and check the polling results. Next is the Move to Room button, which is for the EasyTalks Rooms solution. If you've purchased an EasyTalks video conferencing device, here you can control the device to join a meeting. Next is the More button, where you can check the meeting details, change some settings, ask for live support, or go to the EasyTalks Help Center. And lastly, you can click on this button to end the meeting. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about Easy Talks meetings, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us a comment, or visit our website at www.easytalks.com. See you next time.